So in this bag, after look, look, excuse us, let us get off of our pedestal. Hold on. Okay. But you know, as vegans, we carry that with us everywhere, right? We're just gonna take it with us in case I need to get on a soapbox and let you know about yourself. I said I like it like that. I said I like it like that. Hey guys, it's Ghost like and Sisters. It's me, Darshana, and Bianca. And today we're here with a very, very, very exciting video. We got our hands on the coin dogs. It only took, you know, 3,000 days and $3,000 to ship it from Vegan Essentials. And we're really excited about it. So I really hope they live up to what everybody has said. I mean, they weren't at anywhere in DFW that I could find. And if people said they found them, I didn't find them there. Yeah, so. it feels like these stores in our area just aren't prepared for like the power of us fat Texas vegans. Like, we love food. There's going to be corn dogs. We're going to want to buy them more I than mean, one like, bag. Our whole state fair is centered around a corn dog. <laughs> okay. word, <laughs> word on the internet is that there's one guy buying them up everywhere he goes. Hey, so whoever that is, hey, can hey, I come hey. over and have some? Can okay, you sure? Yeah. Can you leave a bag there? Like, we're on. cool. Do you want to be friends? I mean, like, we love corn dogs. Do you don't know if these are going to be good? But if you're buying them all and you're a... Healthy vegan. <laughs> <laughs> so we are trying the oh. So we are trying the field roast corn dogs. In our last uh, couple of videos, we tried their um, wings, which were dynamite. They were good. Yeah. So these have some big shoes to fill. So a little bit about them. Um, each serving is four corn dogs. There's three servings in a bag. These are 260 calories per serving, so not too bad. I mean, the corn dogs are a little small, so there's no stick here. They have 13 grams of fat, 530 milligrams of sodium, 29 carbs, six sugars, and eight grams of protein. So hey, you're eating a corn dog, so you didn't come here for fat free, right? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> but you do get 15% of your recommended vitamin A for the day. Well, hey, for all those <laughs> nutritionists out there that like to tell us vegans what we're supposed to be eating, yeah, we got. I don't know when. Eat. I don't know when being a vegan came about being like healthy as well. Like, isn't it about like saving the animals? So let me eat whatever I want to. Thank it, you. It really is. But that's why why I do it. That's why my sister does it because yeah. I just can't stand to see the torture. So. And I promote to everyone I can to be as vegan as you can. So like my neighbor at work, you know, he's being a pescatarian. And my friend's a vegetarian. I know a flexitarian. Whatever. Whatever you are doing to eat less meat, I am happy. Even if it's just giving up meat two days a week. That's cool. I'm mm -hmm. not, I'm not, I'm not preachy. I live with an omnivore. My kids are omnivores. That's okay. I'm not, I don't tell them they have to eat what I eat. Just, you know, don't tell me I have to eat what you eat. Yeah. So yeah. in this bag, after, look, look, excuse us, let us get off of our pedestal. Hold on. Okay. But you know as vegans, we carry that with us everywhere, right? We're <laughs> just going to take it with us in case I need to get on a soapbox and let you know about yourself. So in these suckers, Hi. we've got a lot of ingredients. Uh, in the field roast Frank Frutter. Frutter. Frank, Frank Frutter. Frank Frutter. I can't talk. It's I have Frank no gluten teeth. Frank Frutter. And I... Do you want me to read I'm the ingredients? I'm a lot of pain. Yeah, my doctor won't give me any more time The doctor was like, you had enough. And she was like, I'm still in pain. And they're like, so what? <laughs> okay. In the Frankfurter, that's just a fun word to say, guys, because it's just a hot dog, but they made it all like fancy. Did you know that Wiener Schnitzel is actually pronounced Der Wiener Schnitzel? Yes, because it's German. <laughs> okay. All right. It has filtered water, vital wheat gluten. So again, field roast is not gluten free. All right. So expeller pressed safflower oil, more oil. Some yeast extract, barley malt, tomato paste, apple cider vinegar, paprika, sea salt, onion spices, whole wheat flour, garlic, natural liquid smell, caraway, celery seeds, ground mustard seed, and paprika. The dog is smelling my feet. Probably <laughs> smells your dog. Who probably is his grandma? He probably smells my dog. That is true. My dog is so cute, but he's not very nice. I got a new puppy. So <laughs> it's not a puppy, but he's a grouchy old man. <laughs> Hence the name Shade. He throws, I went to the pound and he threw mad shade. So I was like, that's my dog. He's going to be shady and you know, that's cool. Because she'll like text me. I don't think my dog likes me. He, he growls when I try to pick him up. 
So I'm like, stop trying to pick them up. Aluminum baking powder, sodium phosphate baking. Do not eat our corn dogs. Sea salt, xanthan gum, and partially fried in expeller press non-GMO canola oil. That's what's in there. Oh my God, I stopped listening. <laughs> so as you know, if you're looking for super duper healthy, clean ingredients, this is not the stuff to get. Feel, you know, anything that's gonna be in the frozen section is 99% of the time not gonna be super duper healthy for you. Yeah. But we're looking for taste, not healthy, mm -hmm. okay? Not every day can be a healthy day. No, and I ate really good today. So. All right, so these are the corn dogs eating the back up. This is what they look like. They're like little. He's like legit on the table. <laughs> There's like, okay, it's time for you to say goodbye. Time to say goodbye. It smells like the fair. It smells mm. like a corn dog. I'm gonna try it without any dip, but we do have ketchup and mustard in case it needs it. I might have a little bit of ketchup. Cheers. Cheers. Tastes exactly like a corn dog. It's very dry though. Yeah. Well, but it does taste like a corn dog. It definitely needs like some kind of topping on it to like give it um you know a corn dog that needs that good old mustard. This is not the Dijon, just straight up French's, whatever she had in the refrigerator. Yeah, much better. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's really good. I think the casing the um could be firmer. The um the batter could be made a little better. It's kind of like it separates really easy and it's kind of gritty and a little hard. Maybe the 20 minute cooking time was a little too long, but it tastes really good. It tastes just like a corn dog. Yeah, the only thing is, is that it kind of, like she said, it flakes off a little bit, which is not like a regular corn dog. You can just like bite into it. But I think that's because it's that cornbread made with, you know, good old fashioned eggs that stick it together. Mm -hmm. But it would be nice if it was on a stick too and bigger. Well, because these are miniature, that's probably why they're not on a stick and bigger. Can we make a regular corn dog, please? I like them. I want the, another one. The casing tasted great. The the Frank Furter <laughs> tasted great. And this is mm -hmm. something that like I legit could probably feed my grandkids and they wouldn't know the difference. They'd be suspicious because you know Because you're feeding it. Because I'm eating it. <laughs> but I think this is really good and that's probably why Homeboy is buying them all. Can you stop? I don't know what else to say. I like them. I give them two thumbs up. That's what the inside looks like. I never looked inside my regular corn dogs, so just in case you cared what the inside looked like. They're good. They're yeah. they're not no, they're great. They're not just good. Phil Rose, you have really like stepped up your game mm -hmm. with the stuff that you've made in like the last year. I mean, I know you're famous for your chow cheese and your and we're gonna try that macaroni and cheese. Mm -hmm. We got that for our next video, but I know you're famous for your chow cheese and for your roast, but these two things that we've tried from you guys in the last couple videos are so good. Mm -hmm. When I want to have junk food as a vegan, sometimes it's disappointing because you don't really have a whole lot of choices. Your choices are like a veggie burger, which is not or whole cantaloupe or whole cantaloupe or watermelon or mango. Maybe you go get like some chocolate, dark chocolate dipped bananas, but that still doesn't taste like junk food. It tastes like you're eating fruit as you are. So it's not really like, you know, I don't want to just eat chips and stuff like that. I want to be able to have something like I could put on a plate with, you know, Something to eat for dinner. Yeah, this would be good for like game day or something. I think it's good. Field Roast, you guys are stepping up your game. I, You guys have surpassed Gardein in my opinion. I really love everything you've made and I want you to make more. I want you to do more stuff, more exciting things. I really like your principles. I really love your company. You know, any company that wants to put out products that, that taste good, that's so important to me. Yes, I'm, I'm healthy too. I do not eat like junk food all the time, so don't <laughs> don't let me say like that. Yeah. I legit have, you know, fruit and vegetables all day long. But sometimes I want something fattening. I want to see people eating pizza. I'm like, I'll just have a piece of fruit. You know, but, <laughs> but this is really good, and we're really thankful to you, Field Roast, for making yeah. these. 
But um, could we get like a jumbo size bag and maybe somewhere where we could order them other than the one that takes 78 days to get there and costs $5,000? Yeah, I want to see more of these in stores. I know that's probably a lot has to do with us calling and asking for them. So I'll definitely do my share, call all the stores nearby me, ask, me, ask them if they can stock these. They're really good. I hope you guys continue to make them. I love you. Um, if you want to get married, I'm single. I mean, she's single and ready to eat your foods. Yeah. So yeah, Field Rose, keep going. We love you. We leave you guys with lovely messages such as spread your love, not your legs, and don't be a slut. Sorry, it's laundry day. <laughs> um, if there's anything you guys want to see us try, let us know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to like our videos, share our videos. And if there's anything else you'd like to see us do other than taste test food and no, not cook anything. That was too dramatic. That was so much work, JJ, for real. Like, that was a lot of work. But we could do something like grocery shopping with us. Like what I ate today. Um, I really what makeup see. we use, what beauty products we use, household products we use. Don't forget to show us some love online. Follow us on Instagram, Dose Vegan Sisters. And we'll talk to you again next time. Bye. Peace.